How's it going guys? Today we are looking at the Fender Lead 2. So when these first came out I wasn't too keen on them, I thought they were a bit too much like a Strat and as I've said in previous videos I'm not a huge fan of Strats but it just looked like a sort of stunted, twisted bastard brother of a Strat. I saw them and decided that nah, I won't bother. And then I ended up playing one in a shop and fell in love with it immediately. So I bought it and this at the time that i purchased it was the last brand new all black one available in the uk so it was a case of you know it was now or never i did consider getting the neon green but there's just something classy about the black on black it just really sort of speaks to me on this guitar as you've probably noticed i've still not taken the film off the scratch plate because i've not changed the strings yet it's still got the original nines on but i have been playing it a lot i've been using it on recordings there's something about the size of the body on this, it's just, it's really comfortable to play because it's so small, it's, it sort of feels like it should be a short scale guitar, although it isn't, it's a full strat scale. And the neck is silky smooth, you've got the satin finish on the back, but on the front you've got the gloss fretboard, and also a gloss finish on the front of the headstock as well. You've got through body stringing, you've got vintage style tuners, which I'm never usually a fan of, but they're actually really stable, so I'm quite happy with these ones. And one of the most unusual things about this is it's just two single coils, which is a bit more of a retro option, but I really like the sound of it. So you've got a switch that switches between your neck, bridge and middle positions. And then you've got this switch as well, which is your phase switch. So when it's in the middle position, you can knock it in or out of phase. And then just a standard volume and tone. And one of the other things I like about this guitar is the fact that it's a hardtail. Um, I don't like strap trems as I've mentioned in previous videos. I've had this guitar about 11 months now and every time I see it it makes me smile which is what a guitar should do. Now these are still available. Would I recommend getting one? Yes. Uh, should you wait until you find one in a sale or second hand? Not necessarily. If you see one brand new and you like the colour and you like how it plays get it because I don't think that there's going to be many of these floating about in a few years time. I think everybody who gets one is most likely going to keep it just because it's really a fantastic guitar. Is there anything I'd change? No. As I say, I've used it on a few recordings. It's loads of fun to play. It's got a really nice tone to it. And on that note, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> 